my life as Inukai-san's dog is the worst thing to come out of anime 2023 so far. The reason why I'm saying so far is because we haven't really finished the entire year. Like, there's still summer and fall season of anime, so who knows? Maybe there'll be another series in the future that is going to be just as bad, if not worse, than Inukai-san's dog. But for right now, this is the worst thing to come out of 2023. And I don't usually say this because I'm perfectly fine with dumpster fire animes. If there's a dumpster fire anime that I have enjoyed quite recently would be Girlfriend Girlfriend. Because even though that series has a very insane plot and there's a lot of insane moments always happening, there's just something about that series that always makes me laugh and makes me want to see what's going to happen next. However, this series is not that case. Inukai-san's dog mostly just weirded me out and I was kind of confused as to why this even exists. This, like why this even got an anime adaptation is another question in and of itself but with that being said what is this series all about what is my life as inuka science dog all about well it's about how one day a boy wakes up to find out that he is now a dog and to make things even more crazy is the fact that there's now somebody that's going to take care of him from now on and that is a girl named inuka who is not only someone that the boy knows because she's not only in the same school as her but it's also the same girl that the boy has a crush on and from the outside it seems like she's just a normal girl however that is not the case whenever she is alone because as it turns out and something that we'll find out very quickly she really enjoys dogs now you may be saying well what's the big deal there's a lot of people who are also huge fans of dogs but this girl shows us very quickly that she likes dogs a little too much i'm not going to accuse her of being something terrible but it becomes very clear that she really likes this dog and she's becoming too attached to it i mean there's this scene in which like she is cosplaying for a dog i don't know what kind of person would ever do that but she is cosplaying for her dog and the worst thing is that her mom comes in the room and sees all that happening and she questions it but the girl gives a very like unconvincing answer but the mom doesn't even question it any further i don't know about you but if that happened at my house i would not only be weirded out by it but i would actually be concerned for that person and what they're doing not only that but we also see moments in which inukai is extremely jealous whenever someone is just being around her dog and trying to like you know do things that typically someone would do with a dog like petting it and stuff like that inukai gets really jealous and she goes like full on yandere mode whenever that happens which once again it's more proof that she enjoys her dog a little too much and once again there's nothing wrong with being a huge fan of dogs but what inukai is doing is not normal behavior and once again it's something that should be very concerning because somebody being this attached to their dog isn't normal and that's not even covering all the very insane scenes that are between inukai and the dog now obviously Obviously, we know that the dog is a human who is in a dog's body, but obviously Inukai doesn't know that, which makes these scenes even more insane, the fact that she's actually doing all this with her dog, which I can't even show some of these scenes because I don't want to get in trouble in YouTube, but just know that some of the things that happen in this series are just straight up weird and are things that most likely you would never want to see because they're just really uncomfortable. Like this whole series just has a lot of moments that just once again made me feel uncomfortable and I don't understand why this was even made in the first place. But don't worry, we haven't even gotten to the worst parts because later on we are introduced to new characters in this series that are going to be part of this story. The one I'm mainly going to be talking about is Tukishiro because she's the other girl in this series that is also just as insane as Inukai. Because as it turns out, this girl actually likes the boy before he turned into a dog. And she is very quick to show us just how much she loved this boy. She really liked this guy. And she was very quick to show us that as soon as she was introduced into this series. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't there an actual moment in which she actually realized that the boy that she likes was in this dog? I'm not exactly sure how she drew this conclusion and how she was able to figure that out. But after this, she actually does become attached to the dog now. And now she she wants that dog gold to herself as if this series couldn't get even more bizarre and weird as time goes on but surprisingly it managed to do just that speaking of the plot in the series there's also another plot that happens later on in the series which i'm pretty sure like 99 percent of the people didn't even care because that's just how unimportant the plot is i'm pretty sure like 99 percent of people didn't watch this series because of the plot they clearly watched it for something else but towards the middle of the series we come to find out as to how this boy managed to become a dog the reason 
being is because he was approached by a scientist from the school that he was in in which she convinced him that the chocolate that she gave him was from Inukai and instead of confirming this to see if this is true he just actually believes everything she said and just eats it which of course leads him to become a dog so if you think about it all this happened was just because he didn't check to see if this was true and instead of just believe a random person that he's never interacted with and ate something that this person just gave him just like that with no questions but if you thought that this wasn't going to go anywhere it actually does during the whole culture festival arc that this series has it wasn't like towards the end of the series that we get to see the scientist once again the dog meets the scientist and she tells him that the only way for him to go back into human is to have Inukai kiss him in the mouth because they just had to add more weird stuff towards the end to make us remember that this series isn't your typical show and this is pretty much Inukai san's dog a mess of an anime that i don't even think is supposed to be having anime i can't even imagine who in the right mind would think that this is a good anime i really don't understand why this was even created in the first place like did they really think that this was going to like blow people's minds that this is going to get a lot of people talking well i guess in a way they did have people talking about this series but it wasn't anything positive it was just mostly negative people were just saying how extremely crazy this series is and how it just made them feel weird about it and really everything about this series is just a huge pile of hot garbage like i didn't even talk about the other girl in this series whose name is nekotani because she's not even that interesting of a character the only aspects about her that are in her character is that she's a sundere that doesn't like dogs but over time she eventually starts to realize that dogs aren't bad that's really about it of course there's the whole fan service stuff but we don't talk about that and something else that needs to be addressed is just the animation like i hate to admit it but this series despite everything about it being trash like it did have some very solid animation like the animation looked clean and very well made so that's about like the only positive thing i can say about this series is that it has some good animation but it sucks that the good animation was used for a series like this like this could have been used for other series that are probably 10 times more better than this series but it is what it is also something i came to find out was that people who actually have read the manga not sure why you would read this manga in the first place have stated that this series gets worse and with that information i'm just going to straight up believe it based on what i've seen in the anime it's not really that shocking to me that this series gets worse throughout time so you know if you are someone who is i guess curious to read the manga then go ahead but i'm just going to like stay away from this series as much as possible based on what i watched i think this is enough of this series i'm most likely never going to watch this anime again and most likely i'm not going to probably talk about this series ever again because i don't think any Anybody should watch this series if you haven't watched it stay away from it it's not worth it it's just really weird stuff happening every single time so yeah don't watch this series even if you're curious unless you like wasting your time then go right ahead but for the rest of the people go watch other animes there are other animes out there that are 10 times better than this one even the dumpster fire ones there's probably a few that are more better than watching inuka-san's dog so with that that's pretty much my entire video hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time